such a wonderful time of year. A bit of a snowy morning. Quite the snowfall last night. This is a morning where you're thankful to have four wheel drive. A little bit of snow won't slow us down. We got work to do. No clue what's really on the agenda for today. I guess we'll find out. Snow, we'll just say that. Snow is on the agenda for today. And a lot of four wheel drive. Scared daylights out of myself at the Timmy's this morning. I guess my wallet had dropped between the seats into the back. And when I got to the window, I couldn't find my wallet. Panicked a little bit. Good thing I found it on the floor behind the seat in the back there. Otherwise, it'd probably have been dropped out in the snow. That's what I was thinking. That it was somewhere out in the snow and I'd never find it again. <sighs> but we're okay. Monday is still a go. They haven't told me what I'm doing today yet. I don't know if I'm still filling in for that driver or if he's back and I'm filling in for a different driver. I, I know that they said there was a couple of drivers that were... Uh, Oh, there's either, uh, I think one had a funeral to attend and uh, all the preparations, I guess, that goes into that. And another one had some time off for Christmas or something. I don't know, they told me to show up this morning, so here I am. Battling the weather in the four-wheel drive. At least we got a clean truck. It might be full of snow, but it's clean. I brushed off as much as I could. Time to go in there, get our paperwork, get the truck, figure out what we're doing, and get to it. It's going to be an interesting morning with all this snow. Snow clearing is already in effect everywhere. They're already plowing all the roads and the yards and everything. So it probably by the time we get going and you know get everything warmed up, it'll probably all be clear and good to go. Oh, we're riding fancy today, everybody. Mercedes. Check this out. So it's a solid wall behind me. But there's a lot of space back there. I'll have to show you later, maybe. I got a rear view mirror for my convenience to uh, stare at the wall, you know, just in case I forget what's there. All right, let's go. It's a snowy day out here today. This thing isn't the best in the snow, but yeah, we'll make it work. I know what I'm doing. You know, I don't want to rub it in too much or anything, but that is a stadium for winners. Winners of the Grey Cup right there. Winnipeg Blue Bombers. This is the new stadium as well. I don't know why they built it here. Well, it's a better location because the last one was you know closer to downtown, but this location has no parking. You'd think it would because it's a big wide open space, right? Nuh -uh. They have like 50,000 seats and like 5,000 parking spots. Something like that. I know, right? Hashtag Winnipeg. It's actually kind of nice running around in this little sprinter. You can get in anywhere. So it's a bunch of 
smaller pickups, not like when you're driving a truck and you're picking up pallets and truckloads and stuff. There's one package here, one package there, and then I'm guessing I do all my pickups in the morning, and then in the afternoon I'm gonna run out and get all the deliveries done. Is I'm guessing that's how they work it. Going down Route 90 here right now, or Keniston Boulevard or whatever it's called. Now Route 90 changes names many times in Winnipeg. It goes from from Keniston, I might miss a few here. Keniston to Century, Brookside. I think there's another one in between there. And they go to like, I don't know, it changes names a few times. It's Route 90. I gotta go and pick up a package up on Wall Street. Not the Wall Street in New York. That's a different wall. That's a much fancier Wall Street. Winnipeg has its own Wall Street. It's uh, an industrial zone. Not quite the same. Everything's a little bit slow moving today because of this white stuff. This glorious white. Well, it's actually brown on the road right now. It's real messy. Real messy. But we want to get onto Portage Avenue. Now, if you're giving directions in Winnipeg or getting directions, most likely the street Portage Avenue will come up. Take Portage to this, take Portage to that. It's one of the busiest roads in Winnipeg, and this is where we got to exit, right here. Portage Avenue follows the Assiniboine River on the north side all the way from downtown, and it turns into the Trans-Canada, and if you keep following it, it'll take you all the way to the Pacific Ocean in Vancouver, British Columbia. It's the same road. So Winnipeg is known as uh, the heart, no, is it the heart of the continent and also gateway to the west? Because everybody traveling from eastern Canada into western Canada will come through Winnipeg here. Way back in the day, they'd have to go right through town here. Now we have a bypass we call the perimeter. That goes all the way around. I'm going to have to get out of this lane, I think. Yeah, this, this road here, so we're facing east right now. This road will take us right into downtown Winnipeg and behind me, a long ways behind me, is Vancouver, British Columbia. Not very often that I get to sort of do uh, pickup and deliveries running around all these places in the city. All right, let's get on to Wall Street. Whenever I say Wall Street, I always think of like New York or wherever Wall Street is in America. You hear about it in the movies all the time where all the rich people are, right? I don't know. What do I know? Our Wall Street is not nearly as nice. But hey, look at what we got to deal with every year. This is just the beginning of winter. Today is winter solstice, actually. Happy solstice, everybody. I guess it would be yesterday for you. But it is officially the first day of winter for me today on December 21st. Three months to go, and it's springtime. So yes, welcome to Wall Street. Isn't it fancy? I told you. It's always fun delivering in a big truck. Like this guy off on the right, it's just like a, a straight truck, but this guy on here has to get into a dock with a full trailer. And then this guy is parked in the road here. into this lane. This is always a fun neighborhood to deliver in. <laughs> Very old neighborhood. Who is honking? What? I don't know if you're honking at me. What do I do? I think we're just up here off on the left. One package going to Steinbeck. This Sprinter is so quiet. It doesn't seem like a diesel to me. I had to make sure it was the diesel when I first got into it. This thing runs so quiet. Even going down the highway, even accelerating, you can't even hear the engine. It feels like it's and sounds like it's an electric vehicle. I'm very impressed. This is a 3500 diesel. How'd they get it so quiet? I mean, the engine's obviously stuffed up underneath the dash here because the hood is so short, but wow. This is impressive. Now look at that. You can just barely hear the turbo. You hear that? That 
is hashtag impressive. It's amazing what they can do with engines and vehicles nowadays. I mean, why can't they make every vehicle this quiet? Glad I brought my wipes along today. Well, we did all of our pickups in Winnipeg and now we're rushing to get all of, all of our deliveries done here in Steinbeck. Got one more left, just between Steinbeck and LeBrokery. The time is 4.33 and I have to be there before five and they are officially eight minutes away. Oh yeah. They got four boxes. Take the next right onto Rymer Avenue, then turn left onto Main Street. Whatever, Karen, I know where I'm going. So that's been a fun day. Driving this little sprinter around has actually been quite a lot of fun. It's very maneuverable and uh, can get in anywhere, can go down any street. There's no like restrictions like for truck routes and stuff. You're waiting? Okay, then I'm going. Ah, I didn't get the green light. Okay, are you going straight? No, you're turning. Thank God for signals. You got the right of way, bud. Go, go. Okay, you're gonna give me the right of way. He was supposed to go. There's another van just like the one I'm driving up on the right there. That's what this one looks like. Well, it's been a lot of fun. Fast paced, and I know I'm slower than the guys who have done this for a while and who are used to it and used to all the deliveries and pickups, but uh, I get faster every day. We are going really slow here though. But first off, this guy's license plate's fallen off and the guy in front of him doesn't know where his gas pedal is. I've got six minutes. Well, six minutes till I'm there. I have 25 minutes to get there and then I'm done. This bad boy's got some pretty good pick up and go too. She'll give her. Oh wait, that van doesn't have dualies. I have dualies on this van. That been having fun today. I can't get out of this lane either. People will not let me around these people. Finally, I got into this lane. This car up here without its lights on was holding up traffic for everybody. Long line up behind him. In the left lane, just putzing along. Now he's going pretty good. You know, if you're scared of the winter conditions, I, I mean, it's okay to go slower. Continue straight to stay on Main Street, Manitoba 52 East. It's okay to go slower if you're scared of the conditions, but if you are gonna do that, at least stay to the right. At least stay as far right as possible. Right, the left lane isn't a travel lane, it's a passing lane. A lot of people don't understand that. This last delivery was down a beautiful little driveway, tucked away in the woods. This is awesome. This is my kind of living. Beautiful farmhouse off to that driveway that just went off to the right there. Not too far from town, but far enough to be nice and hidden away in the bush. Can't see it from the road. Very nice. Oh, and plus, plus they got neighbors across the road that like to decorate for Christmas. Friends. <laughs> Look at that. Cousin Chris's farm, Chris and Tanya is also right across the street. Not these ones here in front of us. Oh, I'm gonna need to take a running start at this. I'm gonna need a running start at this. There is some serious snow there. All right, here we go, everybody. Look at both left and right, nobody coming. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Chris and Tanya, delivered to your neighbors across the street from you. It's a nice property there too. This is a very nice area here.
I'd say that was a successful day. For a first day driving a Sprinter, doing pickup and delivery, something I'm not really familiar with, but I mean, it's picking stuff up and dropping stuff off. I'm pretty familiar with that. It's just with the schedule, with the customers, with the deliveries, the addresses, everything takes me a little bit longer than the guys who have been doing this for a while, right? So I'm a little bit slower than them. But that's okay. If I stayed on here permanently, and uh, I wouldn't be opposed to that, it's a great company, if it didn't work out at the other place. We'll see what happens. I mean, if, if something comes available. Right now they said they had no permanent positions available, but I'll take all the temporary work I can there because uh, I like it. And the more I do it, the faster I'll get. Maybe I'll work my way up to the number one driver there, right? It's always my goal. It's always my goal to be number one. But uh, it takes a little while to get up there. It takes a while to get used to the system, right? And then I'm starting something new on Wednesday, hopefully. Not for sure, for sure, for sure, but hopefully. And if that all works out and it uh, everything you know clicks just perfectly, then it'll take me a few weeks there, maybe a few months to get into the swing of things. Hopefully not a few months, maybe like a month, maybe like four weeks to get into the real swing of things, get to know all the customers, get to know all the deliveries, all the equipment, all the people there, you know, the mechanics, people in the office, everyone that I need to deal with regularly. And then you find out who the best driver is. And then you target them. <laughs> you never sabotage them, right? Healthy competition. You find out who the number one driver is and you try your best and try your best and try your hardest to be better. So that you're number one. Because we're winners, right? We're winners, we're number one. And you don't just become number one by yourself. Nobody gets participation trophies. Those are lame. I hated when I got participation tro bruh, participation trophies in hockey. So lame. I still have some of those trophies and I mean people ask me, oh wow, did you win those? I'm like, no, they felt bad for me, so they gave me one. I didn't win anything, but they gave me a trophy. Like how lame. No, you want to strive to be number one in everything you do. All right, find out somebody who's really good at what you do. Like I said, find the best driver. Find out who's the best. S like, see how they do things. Find ways to do it better and faster and more efficiently. That's how you create a great resume and how you create good relationships. Because if you want to get a different job one day, you got to have some really good references. And you want to be, <coughs> excuse me, you want your previous employer to be able to tell your new employer that he, yes, he was our number one employee, or at least one of the best, right? Always cleaning up after himself. Always getting the work done on time. Always showing up on time. Always staying late if need be. Always getting the job done no matter what. Finding new ways to get the job done more efficiently, right? You gotta think outside the box. If they expect this from you, hit them with this. So you get what I'm saying, right? Now, you're gonna have to remember that you're not perfect. And your employer's gonna have to remember that you're not perfect either. I'm definitely not perfect. I don't nail all of those points every single day. Sometimes I miss them by more than I should. <laughs> Let's say that. I'm not the greatest of the great people out there. But I want to be, and I want to keep getting better so that one day I am, right? Like today, for instance, I was slow. I was a lot slower than the other drivers. Was it a little embarrassing? Yeah, because I want to be number one, of course, and I wasn't number one at all. But just because you're not number one every day doesn't mean you can't try to be tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm going to go in, I'm going to do a better job. Maybe I won't be number one again. Maybe I will be. I don't know. I'm going to try. But it's only going to be, uh, you know what, my fifth day at this place. So there's some guys that have probably been there for years. It's It would take a long time to get to their level of efficiency. Don't get discouraged if you're not number one right away. Tomorrow's a new day. Oh, I 
dog just trying to roll coal there. Oh, you see that? Always a dodge. Always a dodge. <laughs> I don't know. I got a beef with dodges, don't I? I do a little bit, don't I? I don't know. They're nice trucks. They're nice trucks. I just pick on them. Britt is out right now, so we got the house to ourselves, boys. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Party time. Guys night. Come on, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? <laughs> Good boys. Oh yeah, Wiener's in his kennel so he doesn't get hurt. And stepped on because somebody has a sensitive buck. It's just me, Wiener. Mom's not here. Don't get too excited. Guys, don't step on him. Don't step on him. Hi, oh, Wiener. Mom's not home. Careful. 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 Chevy. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Watch him. Watch him. Wiener, can you go somewhere safe, please? Hello! Hi, Wiener. Hi. Hey, guys. I appreciate the Rockstar welcome. The Rockstar has arrived. Merry Christmas. What? <laughs> say it! Say it! Say it! Do the Cousin Eddie! Say it! Oh, I can't say it, D. Chevy. This is a family channel, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Got my Cousin Eddie hat on. Alright guys, thanks for the welcome. So I gotta shovel the driveway before Britt comes home because it's like six inches of snow on it again. I just shoveled it last night. All the snow came back. Oh, shovel the deck so that if we get any packages delivered here that uh, the package delivery guys don't fall. Can't they sue us if they do that? I don't know. I don't know. Diesel, how is everybody doing? Who wants to go outside? Who wants to go outside? Anybody? Who wants to go outside? What you doing up there, Frank? Wiener, you want to go outside? Or you just want to roll around and party over there? Oh, come on. I know you guys want to go outside. Come on. Come on, Commander Frank. So it was a fun day. We were driving a Mercedes Sprinter van. I think it's called a van or a truck. It's a van. Lots of room in there. It's crazy. It's a 3500 diesel. And uh, we're doing pickup and deliveries. Are we going to be doing that uh, today and tomorrow? And then on Wednesday, like I said, is uh, the big day. Uh, hopefully everything goes good then. And uh, we'll see what happens. But I'm pretty tired, so <laughs> it's been a long day. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. Always do your best. Be number one. We'll see you tomorrow.